Hi everyone, I'm Mina and welcome to my channel. If you're new, I'd really, really appreciate it if you could subscribe and turn on notifications. That really helps to support me. And let's get straight into this video. So this was actually the second game that I made for this game programming class that I took last semester. So basically how the semester was set up was it's a 15 week semester and it was split into thirds. So we spent five weeks learning three different game engines. So the first game engine we learned was Godot. And if you haven't checked out my Godot final project video yet, I'll link that in the description box so you can watch that right after you watch this one. Then the next game engine that we focused on was Unity, which is the video that you're watching right now. And then the third game engine we learned was Unreal, and I'll be posting the Unreal game programming project that I worked on very soon, so be on the lookout for that video. I did want to put in a couple of disclaimers that first of all, I completely acknowledge that I am by no means using Unity to its full extent. I've seen so many really intricate and complicated games that are designed by the Unity game engine and my game is by no means up to that standard, but it is the fir first 3D game that I've ever worked on and so I wanted to make sure that it wasn't too complex and too overwhelming. And there are a lot of Unity features that I'm, I'm sure I have no idea exist and I didn't know how to include into this project, so I just wanted to say that. And the second disclaimer that I have is my game is by no means completely ready to deploy to the app store and ready for production or anything like that. It's a pretty simple game and I'm just showing you exactly what I submitted for this class's assignment. So basically we just had a list of certain number of requirements that we had to meet and after I did that then I just submitted the assignment. Then my third disclaimer is that we did have like four weeks to learn the Unity game engine and a week to work on this final project, but I was pretty busy that week and so I just wanted to get the assignment over with and so within one day I like sat down for like five hours and ended up just cranking this assignment out. I think that's it and we're ready to jump straight into the Unity game engine. So here we are inside of the Unity game engine. So if I go ahead and click play for this first scene here, takes a little second. We come to this menu. So you basically have two buttons, the play and the how to. So if we go to the how to, it just gives you a list of instructions. So basically whenever you see hot pink platforms, those are checkpoints. So whenever the player dies, you just respawn at that last checkpoint, pretty self-explanatory. You move around with the arrow cues, jump using space, and you can only jump when the player is touching the floor. And then of course you need to avoid spike objects because that's one of the ways that the player can die. So if we X out of the how to and go ahead and click play, this is the opening scene. So you can see that this yellow ball here is your player. And this hopping platform is the checkpoint. So you can see that when I died, I just came straight back to here. As I'm sure as you've already guessed, there's a timer running and your entire goal is to get to the end platform as fast as possible. And what's pretty cool is this blue object, the first obstacle you see right here, I actually created that in Autodesk Maya, which is a 3D modeling and animation software. It was really easy, I just created a cylinder, deleted some faces, and then added some new faces in. So if we go ahead and start playing this game, the second obstacle is just a bunch of cylinders that are uh, rotating very fast in opposite directions, so that was just pretty easy to animate. And you can see that we already made it to our second checkpoint right here, so if I go ahead and roll off again, I respawn at that checkpoint but the timer keeps on going. This next obstacle is again created in Autodesk Maya, it was really simple, it was just a cube that I extruded a face and made this kind of ramp here, so if we go ahead and start going moving here and then right here we make it to our next checkpoint and actually that's basically it this is the last obstacle right here and that pink checkpoint at the end is actually the end scene so 
These are also pretty cool, these spike things that are moving because I made those in Autodesk Maya as well. And so Unity is super nice because you actually have the ability to import any assets from your Maya project into the Unity project. So it was really easy to quickly make these spike objects and then import those into Unity and use them for this game, which was really, really neat. And as you can see, these are of course animated. So if I go ahead and go to this platform right here, and you'll notice that if I actually hit one of those spike objects, we respawn back to our last checkpoint. So let's go ahead and try to get through here. This is actually pretty hard for me to do, as you can see. Um, when I was programming this, it actually took me a while just to get <laughs> Um, across this platform, so I had to make it the last obstacle since it's the hardest. <laughs> As you can probably tell, I am by no means a gamer, and so I'm not really great with these controls, and the game that I made is actually still pretty difficult for me too. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. We finally made it to the last end point and it took us four minutes and you can see that we have a score right here and that's supposed to be out of 100. So when I was doing testing, I actually realized that the fastest time I could make is about 25 seconds. And so what I did is I basically divide the time and then multiply it by 100 in order to get your score. And I'm also thinking for another feature to add is to add a bunch of different like coins or rewards or something like that that you can collect throughout the obstacles in order to kind of increase your score a little bit. So I did pretty bad but we did <laughs> make it through the level. And once you see this end screen you can either play again which will take you straight back to the game as you can see here or you could have quit and that just takes you back to the starting menu. I actually had a lot of fun working and playing around with the Unity game engine. It was very different from Godot and probably a little bit harder to learn, but there is just so, so much amazing functionality and it was really fun and a great learning experience. If you guys enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you could leave a like as well as a comment down in the comment section below. That always makes me really happy to see. And I hope that you stick around and wait for my Unreal Final Project video that will be coming out very shortly. And thank you guys so much again for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!